नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स अ डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज द हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी वेरी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर द उत्तराखंड उत्तर प्रदेश एंड ईस्ट राजस्थान ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर डेज एंड ओवर द हिमाचल प्रदेश ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट थ्री डेज देयर आफ्टर देयर विल बी द ग्रेजुअल रिडक्शन एंड रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ओवर द इंटायर नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया एंड एज फार एज द सेंट्रल एंड एडजॉइनिंग ईस्ट इंडिया इज इज कंसर्न एक्टिव मानसून कंडीशन वेरी लाइकली टू प्रोवेल ओवर द सेंट्रल इंडिया and adjoining east india during next 5 days and rainfall activity will decrease over the north east india after the 2 days and uh, accord and the rainfall activity will increase all along the west coast from 17th of july onwards and if you look for the observed rainfall during past 24 hours then the yesterday very heavy rainfall has been occurred over the himachal pradesh uttarakhand west uttar pradesh uh, east madhya pradesh saurashtra and kutch and konkan region in telangana and heavy rainfall occurred over the east uttar pradesh बिहार ओवर द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया वेस्ट बंगाल ओडिशा वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश ओवर द विदर्भा कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड मध्य महाराष्ट्र एंड इफ यू लुक फॉर द टुडे मेन चीफ सनऑप्टिक फीचर्स इन द मानसून ट्रफ पर्टिकुलरली द वेस्टर्न एंड्स ऑफ द मानसून ट्रफ हैज शिफ्टेड नॉर्थ नॉर्थवर्ड्स एंड नाउ द इंटायर मानसून ट्रफ इज इज वेरी क्लोज टू द इट्स नॉर्मल पोजिशन एंड इज पासिंग थ्रू द राजस्थान देन इट गोज थ्रू द हरियाणा उत्तर प्रदेश झारखंड देन उड़ीसा एंड देन दिस मानसून ट्रफ गोज अप टू द ईस्ट सेंट्रल बे ऑफ बंगाल द वेस्टर्न डिस्टर्बेंस लाइज ओवर द पाकिस्तान एंड एडवाइनिंग पंजाब एरिया एंड मिडिल ट्रोपोस्फेरिक लेवल्स ओवर द गुजरात कोस्ट ए साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन लाइज इन द मिड ट्रोपोस्फेरिक लेवल्स एंड टूडे ए साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन हैज ऑल्सो फॉर्म्ड ओवर द नॉर्थ वेस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल एंड एडवाइनिंग उड़ीसा एंड वेस्ट बंगाल कोस्ट दिस सर्कुलेशन वेरी लाइकली टू मूव अक्रॉस द नॉर्थ उड़ीसा एंड एडवाइनिंग झारखंड एंड वेस्ट बंगाल ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू 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 थ्री डेज because of these synoptic features particularly because of the position of the monsoon trough and the because of the uh, movement of the cyclonic circulation uh, across the north odisha jharkhand and uh, west bengal if you look for the weather uh, warning for the next 5 days mainly if you look for the north west india then heavy to very heavy rainfall activity very likely to continue mainly over the himachal pradesh uttarakhand during next 4 days and heavy rainfall activity will continue over the uttar pradesh and east rajasthan during next 4 to 5 days from 20th of july rainfall activity will decrease over the entire north west india and because of the very heavy rainfall activity we have given the orange color warning for himachal pradesh and uttarakhand for the next 4 days and if you look for the central india and adjoining east india then as we have seen because of the cyclonic circulation over the northwest bay of bengal and its movement towards the jharkhand uh, the active monsoon conditions mainly the heavy to very heavy rainfall activity very likely to continue mainly over the madhya pradesh and over the odisha during next 5 days and over the chatisgarh also heavy rainfall activity will continue all the 5 days because of the very heavy rainfall activity we have given the orange color warning for the madhya pradesh for the next 3 days and over the odisha we have given orange color warning for today on 15th of july and for the 16th of july and if you look for the north east india then isolated heavy rainfall activity will continue mainly over the arunachal pradesh west assam meghalaya and tripura region and sikkim area for the next two days and from 17th of july the rainfall activity will decrease over the entire north east india however the light to moderate rainfall activity at one or two places will continue we have not given any weather warning for the north east india from 17th july onwards and if you look for the west india rainfall activity will gradually increase mainly over the along the west coast particularly over the maharashtra coast and ghat area of the madhya maharashtra and the coastal karnataka area and uh, we have given the orange color warning for the konkan goa adjoining ghat area of the madhya maharashtra for 18th of july and 19 19th of july because of the very heavy rainfall activity over the region as far as the south peninsular india is concerned the, there will be the gradual increase in rainfall activity over the parts of peninsular india mainly from 18th of july and we have given the heavy rainfall warning and yellow color warning for the karnataka kerala coastal and pradesh for 18th and 19th of july so if we look broadly the rainfall activity will decrease over the north west india from 20th of july and the uh, active uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity will very likely to continue over the madhya pradesh chatisgarh and odisha area during next 5 days over the northeast india rainfall activity will decrease from 17th of july and over the west india rainfall activity will increase from 17th of july and over the south peninsular india heavy rainfall activity 
activity will start from 19th of July. If we look for the uh, because of mainly because of the very heavy rainfall activity over the Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand for the next four days, over the Madhya Pradesh for the next two days, uh, three days, over the Odisha for the next two days, and over the Konkan area and adjoining Ghat area of the Madhya Maharashtra for 18th and 19th of July, uh, there uh, these are the some possible impacts like because of the very heavy rainfall activity over the region, there is a possibility of localized flooding and there is also possibility of water logging in the low lying areas and there is also possibility of vocational reduction and visibility during the heavy rainfall spell over those regions and because of the very heavy rainfall there is also possibility of traffic disruption particularly over the cities areas of those regions and because of the intense rainfall spell there is a possibility of minor damage to the kacha roads and there is also possibility of some damage to the vulnerable structures and along with this because of the very heavy rainfall spell there is a possibility of landslide or mudslide mainly over the hilly areas of the Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand and Ghat areas of the Madhya Maharashtra and because of the uh, very heavy rainfall activity over those particular areas there is a possibility of damage to the horticulture and standing crops and because of all those impacts we uh, we are providing some kind of advisories and so uh, during the rainfall uh, activity if you are uh, if you are moving out of your home then please check for the traffic uh, information in your area and also please be, uh, be updated with the weather information for your area and avoid going to the areas which uh, often see the water logging and we are also about to going to the vulnerable areas and for more detailed weather information you can visit the IMD website you can follow us on our Facebook page YouTube channel and Twitter page thank you